I don't know what it is, we like animation channels, but sometimes they just get a little bit freaky. Like, I cannot be the only person who thinks this video is a little bit weird. Huh? What is it with animators just making freaky content aimed at kids? This isn't just brain rot, this is just straight up weird. Taking a popular film and animating it like this to target a young audience is really weird. You've got a situation where it's supposed to be a child's emotions in a situation like this where a boy is about to kiss you and you've put the response as scream escape or show panties. Like, am I overthinking this, or is this just weird? Content for kids, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. I wonder what the option for guys would be. What? He's pulling his cock out! This video would give a kid trauma. So today we're talking about a YouTuber known as Anycad, who just makes very suggestive videos for what is clearly aimed at kids by using the popular film Inside Out. Like, even just looking at his YouTube channel, like, am I on YouTube, or is this a corn website? I mean, even just looking at the channel as well, the most popular shorts are the ones that are obviously the most most unsuitable ones. And this in itself is weird because inside out are the emotions of that of a child known as Riley. So all these characters are technically also children themselves. So drawing and animating them in these weird type of scenarios is just really weird. And this is just a common theme I'm seeing amongst animation YouTubers. They take popular relatable animated cartoon characters that people will know and then will animate them or simply put them in a thumbnail looking very obviously in questionable situations. And then we'll market it towards children. And if they don't do that, they just make weird content. Okay, so let's watch this one. Joy gives you joy. Remember, this is supposed to be an emotion of a 13-year-old girl. Okay, now this is hilarious. Oh yeah, dude, what a funny video. The part when the kid asked for a chocolate while the parent was on the toilet and she just squeezed out a King Henry VIII. Man, that is so funny. I would be so happy if I walked in and my kid was watching that. I mean, if I'm honest, that's not the worst thing you could have possibly have seen. But at the same time, why was this even made? Like, a lot of these brain rot YouTubers in general seem to have this humor of where feeding other people poo is like a really funny thing. Is there like some hidden cult on YouTube for brain rot YouTubers where they're like, hey, make sure you add some poo jokes and people eating it in your videos. Like, it's just really weird. It's a bit like the whole thing with Dan Schneider and making their actors do stuff with their feet. It's a bit like, why are there so many people making jokes about eating poo? Obviously, you've got really banger titles like, you shouldn't watch this. Well, guess what? We're gonna watch this. If it's anything like the first video, it's gonna be a real knee slapper. Let's check it out. Wow, dude, what a great video. I'm sure this is what kids enjoy watching. Getting fear from inside out, have him spread his butt cheeks and let rip a gnarly fart. Oh, and how could I forget the synchronized fart musical? Yes, we love to see that, so I'm sure kids do too. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. I just don't understand the thought process of like an animator who's like, yeah, I'll make some animations for YouTube and then they just they just make something like this. Would you not be just highly embarrassed by making content like this? Like obviously there are some phenomenal artists and animators here on YouTube, but I just I just see it so often that they just start off somewhat normal and then they just progress into this type of content. So we've got these two videos here, one with 14 million views and one with 8.9 million views. And I mean, I obviously can't see why these have so many views. Can you guys? And the thing is, it's obviously going to be kids who are going to find this type of content. So let's just watch the one with 14 million views and let's see what's happening. All I did was search Minecraft horror. How did I get here? Well, I mean, you didn't find Minecraft horror, but I guess you found some trauma. Just imagine a little kid coming across this when they search up Inside Out. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this video isn't really that bad. It's just a very suggestive thumbnail. It's clickbait. I mean, if we break down the video, it's pretty much, oh my god, they touched hands and they're in bed together? 
Yeah, it's just one of those. I mean, do you have to make this content and clearly aim it at kids? And I mean, obviously, kids are going to find some weird stuff online. But to take something that is clearly a kid's film, which a lot of kids are going to be searching for, and just make it this type of freaky content, in my opinion... It is just very unnecessary and just kind of creepy. I wouldn't go as far as to say to check this guy's hard drive, but at the same time, it's a little bit like, what are you, what are you doing? Also, shout out this guy who just commented, I love the boobs. Just, <laughs> I swear. Just wanted to point out that this by the profile picture is clearly not a child and he looks like he's in police uniform So I don't know who we're supposed to call about this content. Why would you even comment this? So let's watch the video which had what 8.9 million views and let's just see how this compares to the one with 14 million views Like, what is going on? How does this have 320,000 likes? Oh, by the way, I took this screenshot like three hours after I did the recording. It now has 417,000 likes. 417,000 people thought this video was good. If anyone wants to defend this weird type of content and say it's not that bad, that's fine. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to hit you with this brick. I honestly really don't know who the intended audience is meant to be because you've got clearly the kids commenting and I know they're kids because they can't spell correctly. 911, what's your emergency? And kid is doing inappropriate videos. Please come get him. 911, what is your emergency? Me, take my eyes off. <laughs> then you have just probably a few freaky adults who either they don't know English well or they have half a brain because they're commenting things like this. This going damn. Fire emoji, a few other emojis, screaming bird noise kind of sounding like. Like, what does that even mean? Throwback to I love the boobs. <laughs> I feel bad for this kid though. Guys, I just wanted to see if there was any expensive Roblox avatar ideas in this music section. So instead of finding his expensive Roblox avatar ideas, he's just been subjected to this freaky animator's content. Who has taken a kid's film and just turned it into this freaky content. The thing is, not all of their content is actually clickbait, as this video really stood out for being weird, and I don't think I can even play it entirely, so you're going to have to just see it in all its brain rot being sped up, but you can see there is some clearly weird stuff going on in this video. I honestly believe it's becoming some kind of fetish to see how much you can get away with as an animator on YouTube, but the bar for what's acceptable is so low when your audience is kids, it's just weird. Also, shout out to the description of this video. The animation was completely created by me for the sake of lifting your mood. Yeah, dude, I'm sure everyone who was having a bad day really needed to see this animation just to lift their mood. I think I don't even need to say this again, but it's a reoccurring theme. If you come across a channel that takes children's content and turns it into this slop, making highly suggestive thumbnails targeting kids, then the creator needs to get in the bin. It's weird and disgusting in my opinion. And there's just no reason to make content like this and put it on YouTube. But that's it for today's video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps me out a lot and I'll see you gamers next time.